Yes, hello, Mr. Shahbaz Choudhury. Welcome on Uber Day platform. And Thank let's you, start sir. with heat Thank and mass transfer snap for your final B B B R C, na? B R C. Yes, sir. BRC and NPCL, sir. I am. I NPCL. Call from NPCL too, sir. So, Shahbaz, uh, what you studied in the subject heat transfer? So. Sir, so in uh, starting with the subjects, uh, like uh, the basic thing was like whenever there is a temperature gradient, sir, so heat uh, will uh, so the, due to the temperature gradient, so heat transfer will occur. And in this subjects, are basically we are studying the apart from the rate at which heat is getting transferred, we also study the various modes by which heat transfer can take place, like conduction, convection, radiation. and uh, so we also deal with various properties like which will be affecting the heat transfer rate so like uh, thermal conductivity uh, so convection heat transfer coefficient and apart from that sir then we also have some application part like heat exchanger and then so what is sir, thermal conductivity shivas and how we can measure the thermal conductivity of a material okay sir so like thermal conductivity is the uh, sir when uh, it is the heat transfer occurring sir when uh, uh, through uh, through uh, uh, any any solid body or uh, anything sir uh, he, it is basically sir heat transfer occurring when sir it is sir, per unit area sir can, uh, just i am taking a few seconds sir. i will write the equation once sir mm -hmm. so it is the heat transfer occurring sir per unit area of cross section of when which is uh, when that uh, object is applied to sir a uh, uh, temperature gradient of a unit temperature gradient over a unit length sir so the uh, under that condition what uh, heat uh, transfer is occurring that would be called the thermal conductivity of the object and sir uh, for uh, measuring that sir we uh, we can take a, a one dimensional a case of one dimensional heat conduction sir wherein we can apply some sort of heat flux on one side of the object and uh, uh, and we can select uh, after applying the heat flux sir we uh, we will uh, let the uh, object to come in a steady state sir and then we can have uh, sir like uh, this thing thermocouple let's let, let's take a case of some conical rod okay okay sir okay for example we are having a conical rod and uh, for that conical rod the diameter is varying from uh, larger diameter d1 to d2 smaller okay, diameter sir. d2 okay okay sir okay now now let's take two cases Uh, one okay, case uh, the higher temperature t1 is there uh, at the larger diameter d1 okay okay sir okay and sir at another side temperature is t2 this is a, hmm. this is a first case and in okay, second sir. case the highest temperature is there on the lower diameter side okay okay Or sir maybe 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 something like this you can presume two cases in one okay. case the heat is transferring from larger diameter to the smaller diameter because yes, the larger diameter is at uh, hmm. High temperature. high temperature okay sir and in second case the heat is transferring from lower diameter smaller diameter to the larger diameter because smaller diameter side is having higher temperature and the larger hmm. diameter side is having low temperature so now okay, shiva just tell me how you are going to find out the rate of heat transfer hmm. uh, in this particular case of conical rod and what hmm. you feel will there be any difference in the rate of heat transfer when uh, we are uh, you know changing the when we are presuming the cases like high temperature on the larger diameter side and be high temperature on the lower diameter side okay sir so you need to frame some problem shabas you need to give yes, me sir. some expression for finding out the rate of heat transfer and you need to convince me is that this is how the heat transfer is going to affect uh, when we are taking a case of conical rod with different temperature t1 t2 okay uh, sir okay okay sir Shivas, you got the question. Question is very clear to you. Yes, sir, I got it. Sir, I was just thinking Great. over it, sir. Great. I am thinking. Okay, okay, okay. Takes takes sufficient time. Okay, sir. Okay, okay.
sir, uh, can I assume the temperature gradient to be constant, sir? Ah, yes, yes, that you can assume. Okay, sir. So, sir, in the first case, sir, wherein you told the area of cross section was decreasing along the flow, sir, heat flow, in the first case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, over there, if we see the thermal conductivity, sir. So, because the Q will be a, it is a one if it is a one dimensional flow, sir, Q is a constant, and dt dx also you are telling it is a constant, sir. So, sir, thermal conductivity would be would be a uh, inversely proportional to the cross section area, sir. Are you Hello? sure about that? Thermal conductivity depends on the area. What is the material property? Shabas. Yes, sir. It's a... Take your time. Uh, Shabas, don't be in hurry. Okay, okay, I have not asked you about the variation of thermal conductivity. The conductivity is constant. Yes, sir. What I asked you? The rate of heat transfer. Okay, sir. Okay. You heard about so Fourier sorry. law of heat conduction. So you need to apply that. Yes, yes sir. Apply Fourier law of heat conduction. Use basic equation. And try to get some expression for the rate of heat transfer. Fine, Shabas? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, uh, I got it, sir. I uh, I was mistaken, sir. He, over here, sir, heat transfer is uh, sir, directly proportional to the cross-sectional area, sir. Mm -hmm. So, so sir, uh, in this case, sir, if we uh, uh, see, sir, uh, over here, K is a constant and dt dx is also, you were telling it, uh, uh, the profile is linear. So, dt dx will also be a constant, sir. So, uh, so, uh, mm -hmm. so, the, uh, the heat, uh, so, the heat, uh, so it is uh, proportional to the cross sectional area, but uh, so, mm -hmm. so uh, in the first case, area of cross section is decreasing along the flow, sir. Yes, yes, and in second case, it is increasing. It is increasing, sir. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so Q is a function of, sir, uh, some uh, it would Q would be a function of some x square, sir. Mm -hmm. So, sir, in the first case. Uh, Sir, but I'm getting in one confusion, sir, because heat is, uh, sir, whatever heat was getting in, sir, that would remain same. So, so heat flux will increase, but, sir, the heat would remain same, sir. Sure. Shivas, what is critical radius of insulation? You heard about critical radius of insulation? Yes, sir, I have heard it, sir. It is what actually... Is define this? Yes, sir. So actually, when uh, it is, uh, it comes uh, of use to us, sir, when uh, we are trying to, uh, like, uh, reduce the heat transfer from uh, any, sir, it could be a cylindrical pipe or from a spherical object, sir. So, so it is that radius, sir, at which suppose we have started to put the insulation, and after uh, it is that radius at which our heat loss will uh, heat transfer from the sir object will become maximum, sir, and after that. If we again increase the thickness of insulation, then uh, the heat transfer from the that uh, object will start to decrease, sir. So that particular radius is called critical radius, sir. Shabazz, what is the difference between steady state and unsteady state heat transfer? And you need to give me one example uh, okay, where sir. we can observe the steady state heat transfer. And similarly, okay, one example for unsteady state heat transfer. Real life example. Real life. Uh... Um, now, sir, uh, suppose uh, we uh, if I take the example of an immersion rod, sir, which we use to, uh, sir, uh, b sir, uh, make hot water for bathing, sir. So, so as soon as I uh, dip the, I plug the immersion rod and I start, switch it on, sir. Uh, the temperature will start slowly in the immersion rod. So, uh, so, I think in the starting phase it will be in the some unsteady state, sir. And then after some time, uh, sir, if I take uh, that uh, heat is being lost, uh, so after some time, sir, when heat will be lost uh, at the same rate, it is generated in the, the within that. Sir, or, or an easy example can be taken of an electric bulb, sir. Electric bulb, that resistance bulb, sir. So like when we switch it on, it will, uh, like its temperature will increase. And after some time, sir, if uh, we, uh, it can be assumed that the heat, it, uh, heat is being lost at the same rate at which it is being generated, then it will be in a steady state, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
what is biot number shebas and what is the significance of biot number in heat transfer Yes, sir. So, biot number, uh, uh, yeah, it is uh, so biot number, sir, in transient heat conduction, sir, uh, this is uh, biot number is used, it is a dimensionless number, and it is the, uh, sir, ratio of, uh, mm, uh, sir, heat, uh, heat uh, convected, heat convected to the, the heat conducted uh, of the solid, sir, like uh, biot number, the heat, uh, it, it is the ratio, sir, it is the ratio of heat convected to the heat conducted within the solid, sir. And use it in it is used in transient uh, uh, heat conduction, sir. So when biot number is uh, uh, basically it is when it is uh, less, then we can say that the internal uh, resistance, the internal conduction resistance, uh, uh, is less, sir. Internal conduction resistance is less. So, sir, when biot number will be less than ten percent, less than less than a uh, Point one, sir. Then we can assume that the temperature won't be a function of space, sir. It will, will be a function of time only within the object, sir. Devas, what do you understand by local convective heat transfer coefficient? What is the difference between local and average convection heat transfer coefficient? Okay, so when convection is taking place, sir, if I take the example of a flat plate, uh, wherein uh, and I, I assume that, sir, the flat plate temperature is more than the ambient temperature, so then there, uh, then. Uh, uh, the convection will occur over that plate and uh, the local heat transfer coefficient will be the uh, convection heat transfer coefficient corresponding to some point at that plate sir starting from the uh, sir, starting point but uh, uh, when we're talking about the average heat transfer coefficient we can use it for the uh, overall heat transfer which has been uh, taking place from the plate sir Shabazz, what is bulk mean temperature so bulk mean temperature, sir. Uh, like a, uh, so suppose we have a, a pipe wherein some fluid is flowing. So temperature at that cross section, sir, will is a will be a function of radius, sir. Like at, at different uh, radius on that cross section, temperature will be varying. But we can find out a, a temperature which is known as the bulk mean temperature, which takes an sir a mean temperature of the cross section so so that we can assume that the entire cross section is at that temperature and we then we will be calling it the bulk mean temperature at that particular cross section of the flow sir. Sure. the last question is shabazz aapse yes, sir can you tell me about the lambertian surfaces what are what do you understand by lambertian surfaces uh, sorry, sir, I'm not uh, aware of it. Could you, sir, please uh, uh, tell it, tell the word once more, sir? Lambertian. You heard about Lambert cosine law. Sir, is it related to, uh, sir, that uh, intensity of radiation, sir? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So, sir, but uh, that cosine law, I, I have heard of it, sir, but this surface, Lambertian surface, I'm uh, not aware of it, sir. What? Okay. So, what are gray bodies, gray surfaces? Uh, gray surfaces, sir. So gray surfaces, uh, like their emissivity uh, is less than black body, sir. But it is a uh, uh, it is a constant, sir. Emissivity would be a constant. It won't be a function of wavelength, sir. Like uh, it has a, a emissivity less than one, but it is a constant, sir. So it is not a black body, but it has a constant emissivity, sir. Uh, irrespective of the uh, wavelength, sir. I will give feedback de deta hun, Shavas. Ji, sir. Deko, you know, in, for maybe if you are preparing for NPCIL, so you are going to get the direct portion from this subject heat transfer. But if you are going okay. for BRC, yes, sir. they are going to give you some cases. Like I have given you a case of some conical road. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So they will ask you to stand in front of board and uh, carry out the analysis. Okay. So you need to be comfortable in solving those kind of things. Okay. And you need to apply your mind, you need to think, consider, frame a problem. So yeah. they're going to actually give, give some kind of problem to you in, in uh, if you're going to face some interview in BRC. Mm -hmm. Abhi, this time you have not effectively approached that problem. You have not it. You have to it. You need to write the forward law of heat conduction. You have to integrate it. Okay, here area yes, is not constant. Yes, sir. So Q equal to minus K A D T by DX. Mm -hmm. Area is not constant. Area is going to vary. Yes, se vary karega. 
मे बी फ्रॉम एक्स जीरो टू एक्स एल उसको सोल्व करके आपको एक पास एक्सप्रेशन आता है ना एंड देन टू दैट एक्सप्रेशन ओनली यू आर गोइंग टू ऑब्जर्व कि हाउ हीट ट्रांसफर इज गोइंग टू चेंज इफ यू आर यू नो चेंजिंग द हाई टेंपरेचर सर एक्चुअली सर सर कैन आई इंटरप्ट यू फॉर फॉर सेकंड सर इफ यू अलाउ सर सर एक्चुअली सर एट दैट पॉइंट सर आई गॉट सर सर नाउ सर इट इज नाउ माय ब्रेन इज रिलीजिंग स्लोली अबाउट दैट क्वेश्चन सर एट दैट पॉइंट क्या होता है थोड़ा सा हमारी प्रैक्टिस नहीं है अभी शिवाश वो हो जाएगा जी सर धीरे-धीरे जब हम प्रैक्टिस करेंगे धीरे-धीरे प्रैक्टिस करेंगे तो उससे हो जाएगा डोंट वरी ओके सर फॉर दैट ओनली वी आर कंडक्टिंग दीस सेशंस ओके सो इफ यू आर गोइंग टू अपीयर फॉर मे बी 3 4 स्नैप्स योर रिकॉलिंग पावर इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज ओके सर योर कम्युनिकेशन योर वे ऑफ आंसरिंग इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज थोड़ा सा आप डिसकंफर्ट भी फील कर रहे थे बहुत ज्यादा कॉन्फिडेंस कॉन्फिडेंट नहीं थे आप अपने आंसर्स के एंड योर आंसर्स वर आल्सो नॉट दैट मच इफेक्टिव बहुत सारे बेसिक क्वेश्चंस मैंने पूछे वो भी आप बहुत इफेक्टिवली आंसर नहीं कर पाए आर गेटिंग शेपर्स लाइक बायोट नंबर यू आंसर्ड बट नॉट वेरी करेक्टली ओके सर सो लिटिल बिट इंप्रूवमेंट इज रिक्वायर्ड इन बेसिक कांसेप्ट कांसेप्चुअल क्वेश्चंस आल्सो एंड इफ इंटरव्यू इज गिविंग यू सम केस मे बी सम प्रॉब्लम देन यू टू अप्रोच you know you need to frame some problem you are getting the final answer or not that doesn't matter for research organization but how you are approaching a problem how you are framing a problem out of whatever data they are giving to you that matters you know so step by step there is a approach very simple approach step by step approach so don't try to directly jump to the conclusion conclusion is not important how you are approaching how you are reaching to that conclusion that matters for research organization theek okay? hai तो वो करना है अपने जो पकड़ के रखने हैं जो कंसेप्ट्स और स्टेप बाय स्टेप एक एक स्टेप करके आगे बढ़ना है ठीक है शिवास तो अभी दिस टाइम बहुत अच्छा नहीं था दोबारा मेहनत करो ओके सर आई गेट योर पॉइंट सर मैं दोबारा अच्छे से करके आप देता हूं उसमें स्नैप यस 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 ओके ओके गुड लक एंड बेस्ट ऑफ लक फॉर योर फाइनल इंटरव्यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सर